Here's the good news. It's now easier than ever to find free internet access. In the coffee shop, at the car dealership, and on board a commercial airliner. In New York City, old phone booths are being retrofitted into public Wi-Fi hotspots. That's the good news. But here's the bad news. Hackers, identity thieves, and other mischief makers have gotten good at exploiting these public Wi-Fi networks in order to steal private, personally identifiable data, as well as sensitive business information. This short video will outline some key steps you can take to protect yourself when you're on the move or working remotely. Okay, let's get started. Some of the most important steps you can take to protect yourself and your data must happen prior to connecting to a public hotspot. So before you pack up your laptop and head for a distant city, or even to your nearest Starbucks, make sure to implement the following safeguards if you have not done so already. 1. Ensure that your operating system is fully patched. 2. Verify that your antivirus software has the latest virus definition updates. 3. Update third-party software like Adobe Reader and Microsoft Office. Now let's talk about safely connecting to a public Wi-Fi network. 1. If possible, use a VPN or virtual private network. VPNs encrypt any traffic from the remote client to your corporate network creating secure tunnels that prevent snoopers from intercepting data from your web sessions. A VPN is truly the most important defense available. If there is one thing that will offer the most protection, it's a VPN connection. 2. If you have a choice, select wireless networks that use some form of encryption. In order of preference, choose networks secured with WPA2 encryption then WPA. Use WEP only as a last resort. After joining, Windows 7 users should set their network location to public to block file and printer sharing. These are common routes for hackers. 3. When connected to the web, use HTTPS and SSL connections whenever possible. Many websites use HTTPS and SSL to make your connection more secure. Both protocols provide encryption and prevent others on your Wi-Fi network from seeing your activity. Same goes for when checking email. Always use webmail. Most webmail services provide encryption. Don't use a local desktop application like Outlook or Apple Mail. Depending on how they were configured, these may not offer the same level of encryption. 4. It should go without saying, but you definitely should not conduct financial transactions while connected to public Wi-Fi. Even if you use an HTTPS or SSL connection, it's never a good idea to do any kind of banking while connected to a public hotspot. Lastly, to borrow an analogy from PC World reporter Stephen Andres, if you don't have a VPN, don't do any browsing that you wouldn't want broadcast over a jumbotron to a stadium full of people. Because in theory, on unencrypted wireless networks, everyone can see where you are surfing, with the exception of HTTPS websites. Even on encrypted wireless networks, everyone with the network password can potentially see where you are surfing. This could be a dozen people in the cafe or thousands of people in an airport. So please keep that in mind. So let's recap this introduction to Wi-Fi security, starting with what you should do before you leave the office. 1. Make sure your machine's operating system, virus definitions, and software are up to date before you venture into public networks. 2. Use a VPN if at all possible. 3. Join only networks that offer some kind of encryption. Note, if you have to pay to join a network, that does not mean it's more secure. 4. Whenever possible, limit browsing activity to encrypted websites. 5. Don't conduct financial transactions. 
By following these simple steps, you will greatly improve the security of your personal data and your businesses. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us.